Hi YouTube family, welcome back to Island Decor by Keisha. Um, thank you for stopping by. If you are new, please consider subscribing and turn the notification bells on. If you are oldie but goodie, thank you for coming back. In today's video, we are going to be doing something just a little bit different from the norm. Um, today, I want to show you how I changed or how i transformed my dining room tables to look modern so many of us have beautiful furniture in our home we have beautiful furniture furniture that we have purchased years ago and we have spent a lot of money on these furniture pieces now do we love them as much as we at the time when we purchased them probably not we don't love them as much but we don't want to go out and buy all new furniture because one, it is way too expensive. And two, the pieces of furniture that we have in our homes are better quality than the pieces that they are putting out now on the market. These furnitures are made from real hardwood, real wood. And so it would be best if you guys consider consider refinishing these furniture which is why i decided to do this video today because today's video is to motivate you guys to take that step take that step into lowe's take that step into home depot and get your um get your your materials and refinish those pieces of furniture right so that they can look more modern and they are of better quality than the furniture that is out there now okay so with that said today i'm gonna take you guys along with me as i re upholster my dining room chairs i did not love the espresso color that they have anymore and so i have decided to change the color and the color i went with is black i'm loving black in in my space so i refinished them black and now i'm going to take you guys with me as i reupholster the, the um the seating section of the chairs now before we go ahead and jump into that i want to show share with you the fabric that i picked up from hobby lobby this is the fabric it is a beige with hints of white very beautiful and it is very soft to the touch so this is what we're going to use upholstery our uh, re-upholstery our dining room chairs it was it's a very inexpensive it's a great quality fabric but it was on sale and i got it for 15 dollars and 29 cents for the entire thing and this is this is more than enough to do my four chairs so guys um, I want you to be motivated and know that you need to stop putting out your good furniture and re them. So that's what we're going to do today. I hope someone is motivated and you can always, you know, drop a comment in the line, in the, drop a, <laughs> drop a line in the comment um, and let me know if you have decided to do some form of diy in your home also at the end of the video um i will be restyling i'll be styling my dining room table for you guys so stay tuned for that make sure to watch the video to the end and you will see how i transform my drag dining table to fab all right let's go and do some re upholstering
Perfect. Finally, welcome back to Island Decor by Keisha. In today's video, we are going to be decorating my dining room table for fall. If you're new here, welcome. Please consider subscribing to my channel and turn your notification bells on. That way, whenever I upload new videos, you'll always be sure to know. If you're an oldie but goodie, welcome back. Now, let's get into the process of decorating this dining room table. I'm excited to see how it's going to turn out. Before we do that though, we're going to first go make a floral arrangement. Now this vase, most of you would know this vase is from Target, it's from the Studio Mandy line, and I absolutely love this vase. So let's go ahead and do that. The florals that I'm using are from Hobby Lobby and Kirkland's, and they are mostly dry florals with the exception of this, this one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead with these ones first. And the color palette that I'm using are dark and moody colors. So we're going to go ahead and put those in first. Turn it this way so I can see how it is coming along while I'm doing it. If it's okay or I need to change anything. Then I'm going to go in with these. I, I bend them because they're a little bit too tall. And these ones are from Kirkland's. They were one bunch, but I just pulled them apart. So I'm just going to go in and fill in the spaces with these ones. You want to spread them around so that they are evenly distributed and this is easy to do it's not hard you know it comes natural for me guys not like i watch people do it but for me this is natural i'm gonna keep putting them in until all the pieces are finished. Dry florals are the thing now. Everybody's using dry florals. I love using them. It just makes it look more real. Now, one thing I hate about using dry florals is that they shed. A lot of shedding, but if you don't touch them, you, you don't get a lot of the shedding going on. All right, now I'm gonna go in with these accent colors. I'm gonna put that one first piece right there. And then it was actually one stem, but I took apart that one so that we could get two pieces. Yeah. This was also one stem. All of this was one stem, but I put it apart. And then I'm just weaving these in between so it looks like it's a part of it and it, it doesn't just look like I'm just sticking them in. one I'm going to go in right here and I'm going to leave them in just so that they can look you know So I think I am finished and that is how it looks. I think it looks perfect. I'm going to go ahead and clean off the table because 
these the flowers have shed a little bit and since we are going to decorate it I'm just going to go ahead and clean up I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to put together your own floral arrangement and you don't need a lot Sometimes I just purchase one or two stems and then I pull it apart depending on how thick the stem is. Okay? Alright. Alright. So the next step is I'm going to go ahead and put this cheesecloth and I, I also got this from Hobby Lobby. It was $5.99, but I, as I always say, I don't purchase anything full price from Hobby Lobby. So, of course, I got it 50% off. Now, I know this is not everybody's cup of tea, but I like the look it gives my dining room table. You can try it as well as you don't have to, but this is how. I am going to start my dining room table and I'm just going to go around and kind of distribute the cheesecloth on the table just so that a little bit is at each part of it. Alright right, guys, you have to trust the process. <laughs> I know you probably are saying, what is she doing? But just trust the process. It's going to come out looking good. All right. I just love this floral arrangement. So beautiful. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go in with these table mats. And these are from Ikea. These are going three years strong. So I've had them for a while. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to go in with these plates black as I said before I'm doing a dark and moody theme I could not find a black cheesecloth which is why I ended up using this color but it works it ties in with the floral arrangement all right and then to add I'm going to go ahead and add um, napkins these napkins are from world market and they were a dollar 99 each they are very thin but that works you know The napkin rings were also from Royal Market and they were $3.99 a piece. This is just a simple way to put your um, napkins. I like this way because it's easy and because it's probably the the only way I know how to do them, but I like to do it. So. Okay, so that is that. And then to add the finishing touches, you know you can't decorate without adding candle. Candles. 
So I'm adding these two handles. I'm going to go in. I don't have a link for these candle sticks or candle stands because they were thrifted. I thrifted these candle stands and I spray painted them black. Now I'm going to add my candles and these candles are from TJ Maxx. Absolutely love it. Okay, guys, that is the finished look, and I love it. One more thing. Let me just add one more thing. Alright, so I'm adding these two pillows, and these pillows are from IKEA, and I got them. Maybe three years ago. Quite a while. One of my best purchases from IKEA. Alright, there you have it. My dining room table for fall. I am